I always wondered how much did initiatives come from you and how much they came as a result of consultation with the governor's office? Listen, we, we have a, you know, I, we have a great relationship, a collaborative relationship with the governor's office. The governor has supported our work uh, and he's recognized our independence importantly when it comes to law enforcement issues. So uh, he's never uh, come close to that line, unlike uh, the relationship with the former president and the attorney general at the federal level where they didn't respect rules and norms. Uh, this governor has respected the independence of our office when it comes to policing issues. So in that space, you know, uh, there's not often an opportunity for collaboration, but on uh, the other civil enforcement matters, whether it's on environmental issues, whether it's on protecting our immigrant communities and civil rights and things of that nature, there's robust collaboration. So, you know, law enforcement is, is, is somewhat of an independent lane and we've worked, uh, with law enforcement executives and, and other stakeholders to develop those policies and, and uh, solicited broad input. And so certainly he's gotten uh, given us his input uh, on, on the policies when we're announcing that we're reviewing them, but ultimately it's our decision as to those policies. We hear that there was friction at times, was there? You know, uh, I, I read that as well. If, if there was uh, friction, uh, I didn't experience it. I didn't see it. Uh, I am extremely honored uh, that the governor chose me to be his attorney general. I am uh, really uh, encouraged that at a time when, again, as I mentioned a moment ago at the federal level, we saw the executive encroach on the, the attorney general's authorities. Uh, this governor respected rules and norms uh, and, and the independence of this office. I am uh, incredibly thankful that he supported us, uh, you know, both uh, on our policies, but also the office as a whole. What often gets neglected in these conversations that we're having about legacy and history is what we've done to really improve morale here of the 7,700 plus employees in the department on how the governor's office supported us hiring additional attorneys to do the work that we do, how they addressed issues uh, about salary compression, things that never make uh, you know, the, the, the public uh, headlines, but are so important to the work we do. Uh, and so I, I have a great relationship and friendship with him uh, that will, uh, you know, that I look forward to carrying on as I move on. And I have a great uh, deal of respect for him and what he's done to make this, as a, make this state more fair, more just. And I have great relationships with uh, my colleagues in the governor's office. So I don't know where any of this comes from.